Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Pattern for the Apple Arcade on the Apple TV. So the game is loading up here, and at first glance, and looking at some of the trailers for this game, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it may be my sort of um, game that I would play long term. Uh, it is, I think, a game that's based around uh, puzzles, and um, you know we'll, we'll see what kind of what it looks like here. I know that uh, a lot of the trailers that I saw kind of uh, resembled a maybe like a jigsaw puzzle type sort of game. So we're gonna go to uh, show me how to play, just to kind of get a little bit of a tutorial here. So this is a pattern. Like this one pattern is full of beautiful designs created by artists. Okay, when position position next to each other, they are seamless. Okay, now it just kind of transitions to like a black and white sketch here. So to solve the puzzle, you must reassemble the pattern. So yeah, we're doing like a reassembly here. So how can compare uh this game to um, compare it to putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Now, if you enjoy jigsaw puzzles, you know, this is right up your alley. Um, as I kind of try to find these uh, little pieces. This is, this is a very casual game, I'll, I'll say that. Um, something to kind of do uh, maybe before you go to sleep at night. Nothing that's going to get you too kind of riled up or anxious. And, you know, in this tutorial, it's kind of giving me some um, guidance a little bit as far as where I put these uh, pieces. So, you know, if you have a keen eye, you know, this is going to come to you pretty easily. What's good about this is, you know, you can't lose a piece, right? So one thing about jigsaw puzzles when you're putting them together, or any puzzles, if you lose a piece, then it kind of ruins the whole thing, right? So you have to make sure you keep all the pieces. And what's good about this, no one can just kind of come by and kind of break your puzzle. And you know, when we were younger, you know, sometimes like in elementary school, you may be putting together a puzzle, somebody just comes by and kicks it or whatever, and you know, you have to put it back together or whatever it may be. So this is a, a good way to kind of keep everything organized and everything in one spot, if you're really kind of like a, a puzzle fan. And with the pieces to the side there, it definitely resembles like a, like a Tetris to me as we pull pieces from the side there. Uh, one thing I'm excited about, a little off topic is, you know, Tetris Beat is uh, is being sort of, uh, I guess, uh, being put into the Apple Arcade. That doesn't have a definitive date as of yet, but uh, there is like the trailer there. It is in the, it's in the coming soon uh, section for Apple Arcade. So I am excited about that. You know, I mentioned Tetris in, in general uh, during my during my forensic uh, forensic overtime review. So if, if you haven't seen that review, be sure to check that out. Especially if you guys like puzzles, right? So I consider this a puzzle slash casual game. Now uh, there are other puzzle games that are a little bit more fast paced. Obviously this game, you know, there's not a clock on us. Uh, again, this is the tutorial, uh, but I don't think there's any sort of uh, t time limit that's placed on a game like this. Uh, this is, a, again, a very casual sort of move at your own pace sort of game. But if you enjoy puzzles and you want a little bit more of a faster pace, um, you know, there's the Forensic Overtime that I reviewed um, Maybe, maybe a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago now at this point. Uh, but in that review, I, I also reviewed, um, or also spoke about Tetris and was comparing Forensic Overtime to Tetris. 
and kind of how, te- how Tetris has that, that, you know, number one spot, I would say, kind of in, in puzzles, uh, at least in, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, this game here is also kind of reminded me a little bit of Tetris. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to say that it will be coming to the upper arcade soon. Tetris Beat it had definitely has, um, it seems like it has a little bit of a twist. I haven't, pl- I haven't played, um, I guess, Tetris in, in a while or, or been excited about a Tetris game in a while. You know, there's I enjoy watching kind of people compete at Tetris, things like that. But um, I haven't, uh, I guess, played it in a while. I mean, I, you know, I played it a lot. There was one on N64. Uh, I think it was called Tetris 64. And, you know, that was my, my favorite Tetris game. Play that game all the time. So I'm excited to see what uh, Tetris looks like in the Apple Arcade with Tetris Beat. They have sort of like a music sort of, um, I guess, a concept that's in, you know, intertwined within the game. So, uh, you know, back to uh, Patterned here. Again, basic sort of puzzle game, a little bit slower pace, but, you know, there are faster paced puzzles uh, that are coming to the upper arcade. So check those out here. I think I'm going to uh, just fast forward a little bit here for you guys. Uh, just to show you a little bit more of the game and kind of show you um, kind of towards the end of my puzzle uh, here. All right, so we're back here. Um, I'm much further into the puzzle, so we're just working on our last few last few pieces. I would say this took me roughly, I would say 15 to 20 minutes to kind of uh, put this all together. Uh, again, I don't do puzzles all the time, but this is the finished sort of um, look to the, to the to the puzzle that we started here, just to kind of uh, give you guys a final look. And we're gonna get further into uh, just the menu of the game here. So we get a nice little uh, look at our puzzle, and then. We get our notification. Puzzle completed, balloon ride by Laura Moyer, Pennsylvania, United States. So, you know, game's tracking us a little bit here. Now, if we want, we're able to get the wallpaper from these puzzles and put it like on the background of our phone if we like. If you saw there for the Apple TV, you can't do anything with the wallpaper, but if you're playing like on an iPad or an iPhone, we're able to uh, get the, uh, the wallpaper as a background on our phone or a tablet. So this gives us some more categories. So there's there's tons of puzzles here. 825 puzzles to be exact there as of now and and I'm sure it's growing yeah I think that was just in that one category so there, there there's 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 plenty of puzzles here to uh, go around to keep you busy for quite a while But so if, if you're into puzzles uh, that are more casual, like a big jigsaw puzzle, I definitely go ahead and pick this game up. Uh, and you know, there are gonna be more sort of um, faster paced puzzle games coming on the line for Apple Arcade. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. <laughs>